Fans in Vermillion are looking forward to watching former USD pole vaulter Chris Nelson compete in the Olympics tonight in the qualification round. Kelloland's Carter Schmidt was in Vermillion to see how people are planning to watch. USD fans are eager to watch a former coyote compete in the Olympics. Chris obviously did amazing things here at USD, so everyone is really excited you know, to support him and cheer him on at the highest level and for Team USA, so it's really cool. Former teammate and friend of Nilsson, Ethan Bray, says Nilsson always had it in him. He came in uh, as a freshman, as a mid-18-footer, mid and then he just only got better, uh, improving every year and stuff like that, and I always knew he had it in him. Um, he was always a, a competitor. He didn't. He hated losing, and so he uh, just competed really well at the trials, and that set him up perfectly. Bray says he's been keeping up with Nilsson about what things are like in Tokyo. The regulations are strict with COVID and everything like that, and just it's it's what he expected. But it's not like fun by any means having to go back to all those really strict. Uh, regulations and rules. Leo's Sports Bar and Grill is hosting a party to watch Nilsson compete. We know that there's some a lot of track kids that are planning to come watch and a lot of families. You know, USD is um, really, really big about supporting each other here in Vermilion. Like, even those who aren't a part of the university um, that just live in Verm come down a lot to watch. I'll be at Leo's. Um, I'm super excited that they uh, decided that they were going to stream the uh, the, the pole vault and show Chris, so it's going to be really cool getting to go there and watch him. In Vermilion, Carter Schmidt, Kelloland News. Nilsson's first jump is tonight at 7.40 p.m. Central. If he qualifies, he will compete in the finals on Tuesday. We'll bring his results tonight on Kelloland News at 10.